Welcome to Brain Busters. I'm Sam. Today, our three contestants are Liara, Chris, and Gabe. The game is played in three rounds. In the first round, there are three categories with three questions. The person with control of the board picks a category and point value, and I'll read the question. If you know the answer, buzz in. The person with their light on first will have the chance to answer the question. You may only answer a question once. Before we start, we're going to take a minute to meet our contestants. Liara, tell us something about yourself. Um, hi, I'm Liara, and my favorite color is lavender. Chris, tell us something about yourself. Oh, I'm Chris, I'm a freshman, and I am a great artist. Gabe, tell us something about yourself. Um, I'm Gabe, and I play, uh, so uh, play soccer. Okay. Liara, you can pick the first question. Um, French for 100. If you take French at GL, you will have this harmonica playing teacher. Miss DiMartino? Oh, wait, Mr. Peck? Mr. Peck. That is correct, Mr. Peck. Here we are, pick another question. Um, quotes for 200. Quotes for 200? 2000, quote, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Dodgeball? Correct, dodgeball. Gabe, pick a question. Um, quotes for 100? 100? Yeah. 1990s to infinity and beyond. Um, uh, um, so sorry? Correct, Toy Story. Chris, pick a question. Um, nature for 100. What bird's wings flap so fast it can hover in place? Gabe? Mockingbird? No, oh, uh, I'm not sure. Hummingbird. Chris, pick another question. Um, nature for 300. This small Australian bear's diet consists mainly of eucalyptus leaves. Um, a black bear? A black bear? <laughs> no, it's a oh. koala bear. Is that a bear? Okay. Um, yeah, pick a question. Um, Nature for 200. The Norway spruce is the most common Christmas tree used at this New York location. A Rockefeller like street or Rockefeller? Correct, Rockefeller Center. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we gotta pick another question. French for 200. Located in Paris, this is the most popular structure in France. Um, oh my god, um, uh, um, oh my, oh my god, oh my, oh my god, um, uh, I can't, it's, um, uh, um, 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 I forget. You forget? Yep. Okay. This is embarrassing. Um, wait, can I answer the question if I know? Yeah. Um, Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Correct. It's um, the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Um, we are for your question. Um, French for three hundred. The French serve very thin pancakes called what? Crepes. Crepe? Oh, Gabe. Crepes. <laughs> Correct. Crepes. Gabe. Uh, that's no, the question. Last question. <laughs> 1980s, you made a time machine out of the DeLorean. Um, uh, uh, Back to the Future? Correct, Back to the Future. The scores are Liara with 500, Chris with 400, and Gabe tying with Liara, also 500. Dang it. When we come back, it's the lightning round. 10 questions with 3,000 points up for grabs. This is still anyone's game. We will be right back after this.
Welcome back to Brain Buster. This is the lightning round. The person with the least amount of points picks between two categories. I will ask all five questions in the category before moving on to the second category. The person with the least amount of points at the end of the round is eliminated. Chris, you have the lowest score, so pick the first category. You go in places. places. What city is home to the Liberty Bell? Gabe? Philadelphia? Correct. Philadelphia. What U.S. state did the Pilgrims first land in? New York? That is incorrect. It's Massachusetts. Name three of the four presidents that appear on Mount Rushmore. Um, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, and um, Benjamin Franklin. Actually, Benjamin Franklin wasn't even a president. Lincoln, Washington, but um, you do not have a third one. Yep. So for 400, who wrote the Gettysburg Address? Um, Abraham Lincoln. Correct. Who shot Alexander Hamilton? Aaron Burr. Correct. I, I watched I watched the Hamilton play a lot. For states. Arnold Schwarzenegger was elected governor of the state not once, but twice. California. California. Correct, California. This small state has the most dense system of highways and railroads <clears throat> in the United States. <clears throat> New Jersey? Correct, New Jersey. Which is our southernmost state? Texas. Hawaii. This is our largest state. Texas. Alaska. <laughs> the chocolate capital of the United States calls this state home. Would you like a hint? Yes. It is close to our state. Um, uh, New York? Nope. Pennsylvania. Oh, I actually used to live there. Um, score Liara with 800, Chris with 800, and Gabe with 11,000. The tiebreaker is, the tiebreaker question is, Governor Livingston High School is located in what New Jersey County? Union, <coughs> Union County? I'm sorry, um, Chris, you will not be going on to the final round. Liara and Gabe, congratulations. You'll be fighting it out in the final round after a quick break. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the final round where the best out of five questions will determine our winner. What are four of the five colors of the Olympic rings? Um, <clears throat> yellow, black, red, and blue. Correct. Red, black, yellow, and blue. This American car company owns Lincoln and parts of Mazda. Ford? Correct, Ford. What animal's bark sounds like laughter? Correct, hyena. What bird is the symbol for peace? A dove. Correct, dove. And last question, what is the lowest prime number? Zero. One. They're both incorrect. The number is two. Okay. Um, 
Liara, you are the winner with answering three questions right. And Gabe, sorry, uh, you did lose. You only answered one question right. So while well, that's all we have for today on Brain Busters, thank you for watching. Welcome to Brain Busters. I'm Eva. Today our three contestants are Teresa, Vincent, and Ellen. The game is played in three rounds. In the first round, there are three categories with three questions. The person with control of the board picks a category and point value, and I'll read the question. If you know the answer, buzz in. The person with the light on first will have the chance to answer the question. You may only answer a question once. Before we start, we're going to take a minute to meet our contestants. Teresa, tell us something about yourself. I'm a junior. Vincent, tell us something about yourself. Uh, my name is Vincent, and I have a cat. Owen, tell us something about yourself. Uh, I'm Owen, and I'm a freshman. Vincent, you can pick the first question. Um, I'll do quotes a uh, hundred. Toy Story. That is correct. Um, Teresa, you can pick the next question. Movie quotes 200. I don't know. I'm um, not clear. Um, Teresa, you can pick the next question. Movie quotes 300. Back to the future. That is correct. Teresa, you can pick the next question. Um, nature 100. Hummingbird. That is correct. You can pick the next question. Nature 200. Is it Times Square? No. Uh. Um, Teresa, you can pick the next question. Nature 300. This small Australian bear. Koalas. That is correct. You can pick the next question. Uh, let's do French 100. Mr. Pat. That is correct. Located in Paris, this is the most popular structure. The Eiffel Tower. That is correct. The French serve very thin pancakes. Crepe. Yeah, that is correct. Um. <clears throat> um, Teresa has 600 points. Owen has 800 points. And when we come back, it's the lightning round. 10 questions with 3,000 points up for grabs. This is still anyone's game, but we will be right back after this. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the lightning round. The person with the least amount of points between, picks between the two categories. I will ask all five questions in that category before moving on to the second category. The person with the least amount of points at the end of the round is eliminated. Vincent, you have the lowest score. You pick the first category. Uh, I'll do state 100. Um, Cal uh, Cal sorry. California. That is correct. 
This small state has the most dense system of highways and railroads in the U.S. New Jersey. That is correct. Which is our southernmost state? Hawaii. That is correct. This is our largest state. Alaska. That is correct. The chocolate capital of the U.S. Pennsylvania. Yes. What city is home to the... Philadelphia. <laughs> That's correct. What is U.S. state did the Pilgrims first land in? Delaware? Um, that is incorrect. Maryland. That is also incorrect. Massachusetts? That is correct. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get that one. Name three of the four presidents that appear. Uh, is it... Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, and Andrew Jackson? No. Um, Washington, Lincoln, and Roosevelt. Um, that is correct. Who wrote the Gettysburg Address? Abraham Lincoln. That is correct. Who shot out Aaron Burr? <laughs> yes. Okay. Teresa, you have 1,400 points. 1,900 points. Vincent, you have 400 points. And Owen, you have 2,100 points. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, Vincent, you will not be going on to the final round. Teresa and Owen, congratulations. Um, you will be fighting it out in the final round after a quick break. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the final round where the best out of five questions will determine our winner. What are four of the five colors of the Olympic rings. Red, yellow, green, and blue. That is correct. This American car company owns Lincoln and part of No clue. It is Ford. What animal's bark sounds like a laughter? Hyena. That is correct. What bird is the symbol for peace? Dove. Did you say dove? Yeah. That is correct. What is the lowest prime number? Three. That is incorrect. One. That is also incorrect. It was two. Oh, no. <laughs> Teresa, you won. Congratulations. And Owen, thank you for playing. Well, that's all the time we have today on Brain Busters. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Brain Busters. I'm Jack. Today, our three contestants are Lucas, Sophie, and Garrett. The game is played in three rounds. In the first round, there are three categories with three questions. The person with control of the board picks a category and point value, and I'll read the question. If you know the answer, buzz in. The person with the light on first will have the chance to answer the question. You may only answer a question once. Before we start, we are going to take a minute to meet our contestants. Lucas, tell us something about yourself. Uh, hey, I'm Lucas, and I'm a professional uh, rock, paper, scissors player. 
Sophie, tell us something about yourself. I play Minecraft. Garrett, tell us something about yourself. I have diabetes. <laughs> okay, so Garrett, since you made me so sad, you can pick the first question. Oh, let's go with nature for 100. What bird's wings flap so fast it can hover in place? Sophie? Uh, hummingbird. That is correct. 100 points for Sophie. Yeah, Sophie, you can pick. Uh, French for 100. If you take French at GL, you will have, you will have this harmonica playing teacher. Garrett? Uh, Mr. Beck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is Mr. Beck. 100 points for Garrett. Uh, French for 200. Located in Paris, this is the most popular structure in France. Sophie? Uh, the Eiffel Tower. That is correct. Oh, what is the Eiffel Tower? 200 points for Sophie. Oh, uh, French for 300. The French serve very thin pancakes called what? Garrett? Uh, crepes. That is correct. Crepes. Uh, Three decades of movie quotes for 100. 1990s to infinity and beyond. Yes, Garrett? Uh, Toy Story? That is correct. 100 points for Garrett. Uh, movie quotes for 200. 2000s. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Yeah. Dodgeball? Yeah. Yep. You are correct. That's a movie? 200 points. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, three decades of movie quotes for 300. 1980s. You made a time machine out of a DeLorean? Sophie? Uh, back to the Future. That is correct. 300 points for Sophie. <laughs> Lucas, come on. Uh, let's go <laughs> Nature 200. The Norway spruce is the most common Christmas tree used at this New York location. Oh, me? Uh, Rockefeller Center? That is correct. Oh, let's go. <laughs> uh, Nature 300. This small Australian bear's diet consists mainly of eucalyptus leaves. Koala bear. Koala bear? Yeah, that is fantastic, Lucas. 300 points for you. I'm so when good. When we come back, it's the lightning round. Oh, wait. No, I didn't do the thing. Oh, I, I, I gotta say the scores. So... Scores for Lucas, 500. Sophie, 600. Garrett, 700. Oh. When we come back, it's the lightning round. Ten questions with 3,000 points up for grabs. Is it still anyone's game? We will be right back after this. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the lightning round. The person with the least amount of points picks between two categories. I will ask all five questions in that category before moving on to the second category. The person with the least amount of points at the end of the round is eliminated. Lucas, you are the worst and you have the lowest points. You get to pick the first category. Wow, how kind. Uh, let's go with states. States. Arnold Schwarzenegger was elected governor of this state not once, but twice. There. California. That is correct, California. This small state has the most dense system of highways and railroads in the U.S. Sophie? New Jersey? That is correct. <laughs> Which is our southernmost state? Lucas? Florida? Hawaii. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, messed that up. <laughs> this is our largest state. It was me. It was Alaska. Correct, Alaska. This chocolate capital of the U.S. calls this state home. Lucas? Pennsylvania. That is correct. Oh, let's Pennsylvania. go. Pennsylvania. 100 people and places. What city is home to the, to the Liberty Bell? Sophie? Philadelphia. That is correct. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. <laughs> what U.S. state did the Pilgrims first land in? Virginia. No. Wrong. Massachusetts. 
Name three of the four presidents that appear on Mount Rushmore. Lucas? Was it George Washington, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and Abe Lincoln? I have no clue. Lincoln, Washington, Jefferson, and Teddy Roosevelt. Ah. That was wrong. Well. Who wrote the Gettysburg Address? Sophie. Oh, it was God, what's his name? Uh, Jefferson? No. No? Abraham Lincoln. Oh. I don't know people. <laughs> I can see. Who shot Alexander Hamilton? Garrett? Aaron Burr. That is correct, Aaron Burr. <laughs> <laughs> we end the lightning round with Lucas at 1,000, Sophie go. at 1,300, oh. and Garrett at 1,300. Well, well. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lucas. You lost. You weren't smart enough, and you will not be going on to the final round. And Sophie and Garrett, congratulations. You will be fighting it out for the final round after a quick commercial break. I still win in spirit. Welcome back to Brain Busters. This is the final round where the best of five questions will determine our winner. Before that though, let's go through and let's get two more fun facts from our contestants. Sophie? Uh, I'm left-handed. Garrett? I have scoliosis. <laughs> so, Garrett, since you made me so sad once again, that actually doesn't mean anything. It's only one category. So, the first question. What are four of the five colors of the Olympic rings? Sophie? Black, green, red, blue. That is correct. I guessed. <laughs> one point for Sophie. This American car company owns Lincoln and part of Mazda. Guys, not car guys? <laughs> no? <laughs> Guess? Anything? Nothing? Not even gonna try? I don't know. I, have, I can't even name one. Yeah. Can you name one? What is your mom's guy? A Subaru. Subaru? No, it was Ford. <laughs> no. My mom doesn't drive that. No. <laughs> well, too bad. What animal's bark sounds like laughter? Garrett? A dog? No. Oh. It's a hyena. hyena. What bird is the symbol for peace? Garrett? A dove. That is correct. Point for Garrett. You guys are both tied, and we are down to one question left. What is the lowest prime number? Sophie? One. <laughs> oh, I am so very sorry, Sophie. One is a prime number. It's not. No, because what? it has to a be divisible. Is, prime is divisible, divisible by one itself. in itself. No, no, that is, is the one it's rule. It's only uh, the factors are so itself one. So we are tied. One. Yeah, one's one prime is only one. one. On the sheet. It's not oh, I number. was not supposed to <laughs> say that. <laughs> so, as you can clearly see from my sheet, there is a tiebreaker here. I will read that tiebreaker out now. Governor Livingston High School is located on what NJ County? Sophie. Union County? That is correct. Yes! Oh, no! <laughs> and Sophie has won Brain Busters. Well, that's all the time we have for today on Brain Busters. Thanks for watching. <laughs>